Okay, 2012 Subaru Outback Pearl White, stock number 5663, 29,000 miles. We'll start with the left side of the body. As you can see, no major things or dents or anything that's in your face visible. Front bumper. Hood is very clean. There's virtually no stone chips. There's one tiny one right there. A couple minor scratches. Keep in mind, this is 2012. I would say this is total, totally normal for the age. But nonetheless, I'd like to point it out that it is there. Now, interior is absolutely spotless. It's a non-smoker. There is no tear and wear on the seats at all. Usually this part by this time would get all crinkled up. This is not the case. And I would suspect this is mainly due to the extremely low mileage and probably the previous owner. No pet hair, which is uh, a very rare type of a situation. 99.9% .9 of the Subarus that we have, that we get, um, have had pads large ones at that it takes detail shop two to three days to get all the hair and smell out of i think it's just the type of customer who buys subaru everything is in the trunk full size i mean full set of uh oversized donut and the tools As you can see, carpet is absolutely spotless. So is the seats. Now, vehicle history. Um, hopefully you went through the photographs and you saw everything I posted. I took Carfax. I took photographs from the auction, how we bought a car. But nonetheless, I will explain everything in great detail. So this is recovered theft. This is what Macomb Automotive, which is the company that I work for, does and have been doing for over 20 years. And what it means is the insurance company paid the previous owner of this vehicle after it was stolen. And the way it works is if the car is stolen and it's not found in 30 days, insurance company have to settle up with the previous owner. And then once they recover this vehicle, it belongs to them and they sell it off. And you have to have specialty licenses to buy it and stuff like that, which we do. Now, in case of this car, and you can look at the photographs right from the insurance company's yard, um, the way you see it is the way we got it. It was not damaged in any way, shape, or form. Uh, keys were missing, but even at that, the battery was still good, and the mileage was lit up, so I knew what I was buying. Even without the keys, I knew it was 29,000 miles, and I carfaxed it just in case. Um, Everything here is factory original. You can look at the Carfax records. And uh, this is how you know that the previous owner took a really, really good care of it. Because the battery, there's a record for the battery replacement in 2020. And this is the battery from a Subaru, which is it's a silly thing to do, really, though. Because Subaru does not make batteries. 
so it's obviously just a high-end battery from AutoZone probably Interstate or whoever they have a contract with and they put Subaru labels on them and that is, is true for every manufacturer but when you <laughs> if you're one of those people who replaces batteries at the dealership on behalf of every dealership service manager thank you from the bottom of our heart because this is this is just ridiculously expensive for no reason you could have or rather the previous owner could have went to uh autozone and get that same top of the line battery for 80 dollars less so but and you can tell there's a consistent service history on the carfax everything is marked you know oil changes every three thousand miles what have you anyway 29689 is the current mileage vehicle has full tank of gas there is no warning lights on the dashboard or anything like that obviously um, this is a limited model so you have leather you have um, you have um, heated seats you do have even though oddly located but nonetheless backup camera inside rear view mirror manual everything is there uh, the, when the vehicle got here, I actually had a key made by uh, our local Subaru dealer and then because we deal with theft recoveries and having no keys is quite common for us, we actually have a scanner. So I programmed the key right there on the spot and it's good to go. Now, State of Michigan had inspected this vehicle for all the safety equipment to be operational. So it is not up for any type of uh, work. It's not up for any type of maintenance either. It's got good, healthy thread on the tires um, you know yeah oil looks clean you know, we always there's really no way to tell on the camera but take my word for it it is clean brakes look good vehicle just had a service uh, what appears to be less than 3,000 miles ago uh, now, on the Carfax, there's two minor, this is as low as it gets on their rating scale, accidents of this vehicle. Um, those were the front bumper and the rear bumper. I can tell because i am been doing it for 20 years, I can tell what was done. Uh, both fenders, hood, and all this stuff inside is factory original with the... With the factory stickers on them same thing here so you know for a fact that nothing inside the engine bay has been repaired or replaced so yes they probably had some kind of fender bender as a matter of fact if you look really really close but this might be something fresh there's a couple of scratches in there so I would like to point that out as well we are known for our 100% transparency so you know where you, what you're buying especially for those people who consider buying this from out of state uh, we sell a lot of cars to Pennsylvania, in Ohio, in New York, and I want you guys to be 100% aware of what it is that you are considering. So a very, very clean car. Like I said, if you pull up a magnifying glass, I'm sure you will find a few minor, minor blemishes, but this is a 2012, this is not 2019, so I think for the year it looks remarkably well. Now, this vehicle comes with one year, 18,000 miles, engine and transmission warranty. That is for additional peace of mind. It is free of charge. It is included in price, serviceable anywhere in the United States at any licensed repair facility. So very simple, very straightforward. One year, 18,000 miles, engine and transmission anywhere in the US. Now, a few things to keep in mind. We don't do any financing. Trade-ins under, well, this is inexpensive in the first place, but preferably under eight or $7,000, nothing above that amount. We're not gonna be able to take. Um, shipping is available nationwide. Fairly affordable if you send a zip code with, um, it's actually just a zip code will do, we'll reply to your email with the shipping quote it is very affordable um, it is priced at the bottom dollar we always do that we have been one price dealer for over 15 years so that's it thank you so much for watching this video this came out to be a long one i apologize just wanted to give you as much information as possible 
once again thank you be safe have a wonderful day